Welcome to the Slow Walker and my very first video trail review. This review covers the Pomo Ridge Trail. In order to gain access to the trailhead, you must get a permit from the DLNR office at Makiki State Park. The permit will include the combinations needed to pass through three lock gates on the way to the trailhead. The combinations are different every week. The gates are of heavy steel construction with the locks enclosed on all sides except for the bottom. Finding the first gate is easy as it is just before the Helimano military installation main gate and marked with a Naala Heli trail sign nearby. Even though a four-wheel drive vehicle is required as part of the permit, the road to the trailhead is in well-graded condition most of the way. Today, with dry conditions, I did it in two-wheel drive. If the road had been rain slicking, four-wheel drive would have been necessary in several stretches. Parking is near the trailhead. Leave space for other vehicles in the turnaround area. The scenery at the parking area is a spectacular preview to the trail. Not long after leaving the trailhead, you will encounter a boot scrub at the entrance of a gate meant to dissuade mountain bikes and motorcycles. Both activities are not legal in this area. Please use the boot scrub to brush off any non-indigenous seeds and plant material. Lehua, koa, and many other indigenous plants grace and adorn the hillsides and the valleys. River song echoes up from below. What a glorious time to be on the Pomo Trail. Continuing up the trail, you'll find the encounter a sign warning hikers that past that point, the trail is no longer maintained for hiking. The trail becomes more primitive, but never very difficult. Sometimes the trail is just wide enough for one foot at a time at the very bottom. In other sections, puddles with boot-sucking mud will soak your socks while trying to rest your footwear. Sometimes more than a foot deep, and oftentimes just wide enough for your foot, the trail goes on for yards. The monument for Geraldine Klein sits just above the junction to the Ko'olau summit, which overlooks the clearing which is probably a bog. Part of the monument catalogs distances to various trails that intersect the summit trail. Geraldine Klein was an active hiker and a member of the Board of Directors of the Hawaii Trail and Mountain Club. She was also a member of the Sierra Club. Being an avid hiker, she shared her love of hiking with others by leading group hikes. In 1975, at the age of 25, an auto accident abruptly ended her mortal roaming along the trail she loves. Through the monument, Geraldine continues to guide and inspire hikers along the Ko'olau trails. Beautiful panoramas of wilderness beauty greet the eye and reward the hiker that has made it this far. Sometimes dry, sometimes wet, but always beautiful and intriguing, the trail rambles through these hills. Well, 
just finished the Pomoho Trail. It was a wonderful trail, really enjoyable. Starts off easy, a little bit of rolling, but uh, very gradual ascent to the Kualao Summit. Uh, there's no real tough part up there. It's uh, slippery every once in a while, but a very enjoyable trail. Again, you'll need to get a permit before you come in here. There's a good uh, long drive to get here just to the trailhead, but it's well worth the, uh, the trouble. And you know, if your vehicle is going to carry you half the way, what can I say? But again, this is a beautiful trail. If you need more information, you're welcome to pop over to the slowwalker.com as long as you do so in the January month. Uh, I'll probably have an archived issue if you want to write up later on. More photos and till the next trail, this is the Slow Walker checking out. If you are blessed to make it to the summit, climb past the monument to the top of the small knoll that sits at the crest of the Ko'olau range. If you are rewarded with good weather, as I was, you'll see areas of Oahu still devoid of development and exuding pristine splendor. Gusting winds add to the wild feel of this area. Peace and beauty were abundant along the trail to the summit this day. Puffy white clouds gave variety to the blue sky. Sunshine gladdened the soul and cool breezes made the going pleasant. I was glad I was there to drink it all in. The view of the steep pulley below the trail leading southeast is in my memory still and tempts me to return and travel its muddy serpentine course high above the lowlands and the blue Pacific. Green walled cliffs fall off steeply from one side of the Ko'olau spine while intersecting ridges valleys and peaks on the other side beckon me even now one day maybe one day maybe one day soon